So y'all, why well, I just got spotted out at the gas station, period. <laughs> always okay but i'm about to just keep it going because i can't let nobody stop me from this video because first of all y'all be popping it and i could pop it too but let me just pop it the right way and keep it cute no no i'm not gonna keep it cute i'm gonna just keep it just however i need to just keep it okay so first of all i keep seeing people let's just get straight to it talk about i'm on fentanyl what is that I mean, we know what fentanyl is, but, like, how was I supposed to be off of it? Like, what happened? What rumor? What was what? Because y'all coming in my comments talking about some, oh, yeah, that's what fentanyl do. Oh, yeah, stay off fentanyl. Like, nobody said I was off of fentanyl. Bye. All right. So, yeah, DM me, head ass. I'm just like, all right, lying. Okay, so, anyways. mini bikes period la life but yeah so it's a rumor about me being on fentanyl i have never did fentanyl a day in my life i hope not i mean unless they put in fentanyl and weed but come on now like y'all really be popping it and is it because i lost a little weight you know being a woman you go up and down in your weight sometimes i'll be bloated sometimes my face will be fat sometimes my face will look skinny um if I don't wear a bra, I'll look skinnier, like all type of stuff. Like y'all just be just talking. So no, I'm not off fentanyl. If I was off fentanyl, I think I would be proud to say. Because everybody who I know that be off like fentanyl and perks and stuff like that, they be like, oh yeah, I'm off perks, I'm off this. Like they, no shame in their game. So that's not me, that's not me. Number two, this breakup with C-Mac. Yes, we did break up. Yes, we did. Y'all should know when we broke up because every time we break up, he be popping it too. I'm tired of him popping it too. Free C-Mac though, because he is in jail. I don't want no black man to be in jail, even though me and him, you know, we don't see eye to eye. And because of his fans and because of the people who be up in his ear, yes, that's why we don't see eye to eye, just to let y'all know. It's not because of something that I did. It's not because he don't like me. It's not because of what my daughter be doing. We're gonna talk about my daughter too, but no like it's because of his fans his fans are their trolls and he don't get it and then you know it really like interferes with us like at home whatever the case may be so i told him like listen i'm not trying to interfere in your career your fans you seem to really care about what your fans say as you should because they support you but on the other hand behind closed doors you really like me for real you really want to be with me you know you you know talking about marriage with me talking about kids with me everything right but when it comes to these fans i guess you trying to like have this image and i'm tired of the image like the image with me is like oh yeah tough gang banger because she's a 304 i share my story on soft white underbelly nobody knew about it if i was so out there people would have known if that was the case how come nobody knew until i revealed my life so you see what happens when you're transparent okay they put it in your face but i don't give a fuck because i'm the one who gave y'all the story and the best story ever told is the story that you tell yourself period okay so um that's that so me and him just had to stop talking i told him like look we just need to come out with the music he was like all right cool some comments came to c mac he started popping it and when he started popping it to me, he was like, you know what? Keep the OnlyFans money. I don't want to do music music with you. I heard that um, your daughter is this and that, so here go the fans again. Whether it's his fans or some trolls that who don't like me. Why would you allow your fans or just people on the internet to dip into your real life in real life? He always used to tell me, like, I love you on hood in real life. But in real life, you give me hell from this internet. Like, are we in real life or are we on the internet? So the comments came in on my daughter's birthday and that was last week. So he just started texting me like crazy. Mind you, you know, we're broken up. We already came to the agreement that we're just gonna put our music on um, Thanksgiving. Because he let the comments get to him, our music didn't come out on Thanksgiving. And I'm tired of the same old script with these niggas. Like you make music with them and it don't come out. That's why I'm just like, you know what? And I could put it out if I want to, but why would I want to do something sloppy like that? Like, no. So once again, bomb music just down the drain okay so i'm like you know you're not serious and you can't just be speaking up on a child that isn't your child too and just have some respect and you know considerate of my child's situation if you love me you're supposed to love me my child my dirty draws everything but you don't love me you just love this doggy style like i said okay like 
People just love what you can do for them, how you make them feel, but they don't really love you in real life. Okay, so I just have to just let that be done. And let's be for real. C-Mac can't handle me. That's why we broke up. He can't handle me. I'm the type of woman that you have to know how to handle, baby. You can't be insecure. You got to play hardball for real. You can't be for fake. You cannot dim my light, baby. Everybody used to tell me, you know, you're beautiful, you know, um... Why did you choose C-Mac? Because I thought C-Mac was all for Tania, but he's not all for Tania. He's for his fans. And your fans supposed to just ride with you. Whoever is not riding with you, you have like half of his fans riding for us and the other half, well, not even half, 20% of his fans and the other 80% did not like us. So I said, you know what? Let me be a real bitch and let you do you. But I wanted to see if he was going to handle business. Did he? No. Then he kept saying, are you going to hold me down when I go to jail? Let's talk about him going to jail. I knew he was going to go to jail. If I was somebody who was, like, using him, I would have just been like, you know what? Let me just be with him while he's in jail. Let me hold him down, fake hold him down. He's going to give me this. He's going to give me that. I can get the clout. Let's talk about clout. I don't chase clout, you guys. The clout was chasing me. I didn't know all this stuff was going to spiral out. And because it did, that's not my business. But a lot of people are mad about that. Oh, she's just, she's, blah, blah, blah. Oh, she's just doing this because of da-da-da-da-da. They will never know why I'm just doing what... They will never know. So, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know what the future may bring. Not with a relationship with me and C-Mac, but just period with like our music that never came out and just like opportunities for me from that situation let me tell y'all about me i'm not an opportunist but i don't play no games this go around in my life okay so in my 20s i was playing games or whatever like oh i don't know i'm trusting people i care what people think these days i don't care what people think things have to make sense and when i do deal with people it has to benefit me because i know i'm beneficial too i teach people things i am good to be around and just my presence period like be appreciative of a black woman like give me a break like we out here trying to change our life some black women so for the black women who are out here trying to change all right all right i will okay see they want me gone so yeah for the black women who are doing things, give them a freaking break. You know what I'm saying? And for the black women who aren't doing things, give them hell. But don't give me hell. Do not give me hell. And last but not least, because I'm going to keep it short because I know I'm going to have more videos talking about this. But my daughter is, she just turned 14. And she's been running away since 12. At 13, she ended up being on the blade. Yes, being a prostitute at 13 years old. It was shocking to us. And for the people who really know us, it was shocking. To the internet, they're like, oh, the apple don't fall too, fall too far from the tree. Oh, she's just like mom. She's not just like mom. But the thing is, she just had this interview and she was lying her ass off. I can't even believe what I, like, I can't believe what I was looking at, okay? She was like lying. She was like mixing her story with stories that she's seen. And I know what story she's taken from. So I'm just like, what? So the internet is a very nasty place, but I will figure out what I'm gonna do with my daughter. But as of now, my daughter is in jail. Okay, she just went to jail. I'm dealing with a lot. I'm dealing with a freaking lot. And a lot of people just don't understand that. They don't even care. So <sighs> I will be figuring out what exactly, what approach I'm gonna be coming from now on because I see people are playing with my name, with my daughter's name, with just everything. And you guys don't really know the full story. An interview is just little bits and pieces of my life. But if you guys really, really, really knew, like I really be holding back on these interviews and when I be telling stuff, because you know, life is not just you by yourself. It involves a lot of people. So I can't even bring up a lot of situations and stories because it involves other people. So with that being said, you guys still aren't getting everything. But you know what? On my channel, I'm going to start keeping it fucking real. And I'm going to give y'all what y'all need. Because these narratives that they be trying to push, baby, is not the way. It's just not the way. So, I'm about to get out these people away. And um, another thing. Have some respect. I'm going to vlog and I'm going to be showing my kids. I'm going to be, like, you know, letting y'all in on my life. But, like, not too much on me. 
y'all be just think about your life you know everything's not perfect and stop saying crazy stuff in these comments baby please and another thing i got surprises for y'all y'all just don't even know but y'all want to mess with me so i'm gonna mess with y'all but yeah as of everything else um i will be giving y'all new new content after this video it will be new content like probably like a few hours after this video because um yeah i gotta let y'all know what's going on so i love y'all sprinkle sprinkle and i will be back with more asmrs and just yeah new shit because i rocks all the new new shit bye